Well, let's practice a little bit of um, our updating skills uh, in this tutorial. So I'd like to do a couple of things. First, I'd like to make a, a change to the template and have that update through my pages. Then I'd like to go through the process of uh, what we need to do when we create a new page. We need a new page on our site. So let me just pull up an in index here. <clears throat> and let's say that down here on my footer, you know, I put some placeholder information there. Uh, maybe I'm ready now to actually put uh, the content that I want there so I need to edit this area so I open up my index and I can see if I go down there and try to edit that area uh, I get my uh, circle with a line through it symbol that says I cannot do it uh, which just means to me that that area is controlled by the template so that's an area that I've decided that I wanted it to be the same on all of my pages so let me close the index here I'm going to come over uh, to my files panel files tab and find that template folder twirl it down and inside of it is my template.htm I mean my template.dwt double click on that to open it and now I can see that I do have access to this area here so first thing I have a little placeholder text here I'm just going to highlight all of that delete it out um, and maybe I'm ready to put uh, an address in here so our address is just uh, let me just type in we're here on the campus. Okay, and salt. Let me just abbreviate that. Uh, we're in MBH 205, and we are in SLC and 84112. Okay, so there's our address. Um, oops. All right, uh, I might put an email address in there as well. I'll put my work email here. Um, and let's see, I'm not going to put contact info down. I'm going to just take that right off. So I'm just putting some new stuff in. I'll, I'll uh, deal with this last updated on here. So last updated on, I want a date there. And if I go up to the insert menu, there's a thing that will put the date on there. It'll, it'll grab the current date. So um, I want it to say the month, the day, and the year. I don't care about the time. And here's the really neat thing. If I check this box here, it will update automatically uh, when somebody saves it, or when I save it. So uh, every time I make a change and save it, it'll grab that, that, that current date and stick it on there automatically for me. And because I'm doing this on the template, will then do it on all of my subsequent pages. So I'm going to say OK to that. And you can see it grabbed today's date. OK, so now I've made all these changes to the template um, or to this footer. One last thing, a lot of folks will say, oh, I want my email address to be a, an email link. OK, so I'm going to highlight that. And I could look around here. And you can see on the Insert menu, there is an email link window. So I can put that in. It sort of filled it out because I already had it typed in there. It already filled it out for me. So I want my email address to actually be the visible text. And then it will link to that same address, say OK, and it creates that as a link. Now, um, <clears throat> we won't get into why that doesn't work most of the time anymore, but uh, or your visitors aren't going to be able to use that, but people like that. OK, so I've made all these changes to the template down here on my footer. And if I look up at the top, I can see there's a little asterisk showing. It just means that I've made changes that haven't been saved. So when I do File Save, <clears throat> the template recognizes that changes have been made to areas that were not inside these editable regions. And it wants to go, it sort of took a quick look at my, my website. I've got six pages out there that this template has been applied to. And uh, it wants to go find those six pages, make that this exact same change I've made here, the whole footer, um, to those six pages. And it's going to, it's going to, when I, when I click the update button, it's going to now go out, find those six pages. You can see it's already done. It found those six. It updated them, saved them, never needed to open it up. So I mean, that was fast. It did that work for me, um, which would have taken me 15 or 20 minutes possibly uh, to do that. Now. Yeah, it did it for me. Now, that's going to become very beneficial, especially as our site grows and we get lots and lots and lots of pages. When we want to make changes, uh, global changes, things that we want to be the same across our website, that's what the template is for. 
Okay, so I'm going to close that now. And I want to check to make sure it really works. I'm going to open up my index page. And I can see there it is on the index page. I also want to um, go ahead and open up. Uh, I want to check this uh, in the browser. So I'm going to open up uh, my preview here in Firefox. So I can see my pages. There, there it is on my footer. And I can click through a few of these pages quick to make sure those changes got made um, uh, to all my pages. Okay, looks good. So that is the local copy of my website that I've tested. Uh, now I have a, a final step here is that my local copy of my website looks good, but the remote copy of my website, the one that's live, the one that my visitors see, it doesn't have these changes. It still looks like that little placeholder text there. So I need to get these updated right to the web server. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to close all my pages that I had open and come over here to my files uh, tab because this is the tool that's going to handle that. Now in the last tutorial we expanded this just by clicking that button so we could see both sides and you could go through that process again. Um, but I don't need to. The tools for uploading are sitting right here. So I'm going to connect to the web server and I could select the top folder there and push the upload button and it would make a copy of everything and send it up. Now, um, so that would work fine, uh, but I'm going to show you a different way because really all that needs to get uploaded are those HTML pages that changed. I don't really need to upload these images again. Now it's not going to put two copies up there, but it will upload and copy over the ones that are there. So I didn't change any of these images, so they don't need to get uploaded again. Um, and Dreamweaver has another button here, a synchronize button, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to synchronize the two copies of my website, the local folder, my local copy, and the remote copy. So I'm going to press that button, and it's asking me, okay, well, what do you want to synchronize? And I'm going to open this up and say I want to synchronize the entire site, and I want to, the direction I want it to go is to put newer files to remote. So anything that's newer here on the local site, it's going to make a copy of it and upload it. So give me a preview quick of um, what that looks like. So it just really quickly compares the two copies of my website and then it shows me the list of, the list of files that it's going to up, upload. And that looks just about right. My HTML files that all got changed because of the template and the template got changed. So I'm just going to click OK and off those go. So it did it really quick because it didn't have to upload any images. So that's a time saver. I, don't, uh, I didn't upload an additional copy of anything that didn't need to go. So that is the synchronize button. Um, so that's, I would use that synchronize button when I've made a change to the template and the template has changed a whole bunch of pages. The synchronize does a great job there because um, I don't have to remember which ones I changed and upload them individually or I don't have to upload the whole site again and have to wait for all those images to go up when they're already up there. They don't need to go up uh, again. All right, so uh, in the next tutorial, we'll go through the process of um, what happens when you need a new page within your website and the process of getting that created and uploaded and all hooked up together with your existing stuff.